it's Derek, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina, and check this out. This is a portable bubble balancer, a tire balancer, and this is kind of old school. It works. It's not cheap, actually. This was almost $60. Uh, it was $55 with shipping from Harbor Freight, and uh, I didn't do an unboxing video because there's not a whole lot to unbox. You take it apart, you put one bolt in the bottom here, and the thing sits on top. There's a little adjustment for the bubble float that I'll get into once we get a, a tire on there, but that's it. So... This is the way we did it before we had computers. Um, this is a static balancer, not a dynamic balancer, so it's not going to be the best balance your tires get. But for most people, for 99% of those out there, you'll never know the difference between static and dynamic when you're rolling down the road. We're talking about quarter ounce, maybe difference in weight. And uh, in fact, maybe at some point I'll put the tire that I balanced here today, or one of the tires I balanced here today, on a dynamic balancer, and we'll see how close we got it. But uh, before we start, you're obviously going to have your tire now. In my other video, I used the Harbor Freight manual tire changer to put these two brand new tires on my Honda here. Now, what you want to make sure to do before you do the balancing is to pull off any old wheel weights. If they're stick-ons, they'll be back in this area here. If they're hammer-on weights, they'll be here on the lips. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll get the camera closer in. We'll lay this thing down on top of it. And let me just cover the one little setup thing as we get here. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so the whole idea behind a bubble balancer is this. There is a little balancing bubble in there, and it has to be in that center ring. As long as that is in the center ring, well, your tire should be fairly well balanced. So if I'm going to use this on a floor, well, that might be out of balance or out to one side or another. And that's what these three little screws here are for. You can adjust the balance to get it set. So if the floor isn't perfectly level, you can re-level the bead, and you're ready to go. This part here... It's spring-loaded for various weights, and as you can see, the whole unit kind of teeters and totters. So a little bit of patience is required when doing this. Let me go ahead and throw the tire on there, and I'll show you the way to do it right. Well, we've got our second tire on, and this one is a little bit out of whack. Here's the bubble right here. I'll show you that it's a little offset. It's not drastic, but just a little bit. So the idea here is to add weight to each side of the tire to figure out where it is. So if my bubble is off to this side, I could add a weight right there and see how close it brings it in. That was actually pretty darn close. Let me try a little heavier weight. Let's see. Let's see here. Wow. There she is beautifully. But that is one, that's 225. So what you want to do when you have a situation like that is you're going to put one of those weights on the back side. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to make a little mark with a pencil here. I'm going to hammer this weight on and one on the other side and we'll go ahead and rebalance it again. Okay, so that was pretty much it. It's uh, that simple. Hammered one weight on this side, one on the other side to even out that balance. And now my ball is right, right about in the center of it. If I want to add another quarter, I could. Might make it just a little bit better. But I'm going to drive it like it is. These are going on the rears. If I notice a vibration, I can always pull it back in and rebalance it. So really kind of nice. I was able to reuse the wheel weights that I already had. I did buy a pack of steel weights, but didn't end up needing any of the other tire balanced perfectly. And this one was pretty darn close. So again, uh, portable bubble wheel balancer. This was the way we did it for years and years and years and years. And then computers came along and we were able to perfect that by going with dynamic instead of static balancing. The end result is still the same though. As long as you can get it up to highway speeds and not have a vibration in either the steering wheel or the body of the car, that's a success story. And uh, with that, no, I'm out. I am Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this video on the Harbor Freight dynamic, oh, I'm sorry, static bubble balancer. If you enjoy the video, perhaps you will think about liking and subscribing because I do lots of Harbor Freight reviews. I'm kind of a Harbor Freight fanatic, I guess, at this point, which is funny to think. You know, that 20 years ago, Harbor Freight was kind of the butt of many jokes. And now, well, the joke's on everybody else. So uh, that's it for tonight. I'll see you next time. Take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point.